This might be one of the easiest AI side hustles you can start to make passive income. Most of the sellers are making $2,000 monthly like this listing and have generated over $100,000 in total revenue that requires no prior skills all you need is the right mindset and consistency. Well, get ready because we're about to embark on a fantastic journey into the world of selling printable junk journals on Etsy. Now you might be thinking, what the hell is that? Well, it's pretty much these types of vintage designs. It's currently trending and Etsy sellers are making a good amount of money selling similar stuff. There are many different types of junk journals sold by sellers on Etsy. Some of the popular junk journals available on Etsy include junk journal handmade, blank junk journals, junk journal kits, junk journal supplies, junk journal printable, and even junk journal digital. People use a junk journal as a memory and photo keeper. Junk journals tend to borrow a lot of ideas and techniques from the scrapbooking world, so it's natural that junk journals often become books for keeping memories, photos, cards, tags, and other bits of ephemera that remind you of friends, family, and trips you might. Junk journals regularly sell for hundreds of dollars on eBay and Etsy. Not all of them, of course, but the ones that do sell for a lot of money are basically something that absolutely anyone could do with a little time and effort. So, first let's look at some of the listings. This listing right here is the best seller. They offer different styles and designs of the junk journal paper. If you look at the review section, you will notice that they're getting new reviews consistently, which means lots of sales. Look at another listing that is a best seller as well with lots of new reviews. I've probably said that 100 times, but if a product receives new reviews consistently there's no way it's not selling well. Now the important question is that, how to generate your own similar designs to sell on Etsy or another platform? Well, I am ready to explain different methods for you, starting with the described command in mid-journey. Suppose you'd like to duplicate this cat design. First, you have to capture a screenshot of the design you prefer. For that, you have to press and hold the Windows key, plus Shift, plus S key at the same time, and capture a screenshot of the image. Next, go to the mid journey and type forward slash, then select the describe option. Now you have to press Ctrl plus V to paste the design. If you have followed the steps accurately, you will be able to view the attached image here. Afterward, press the enter key. As you can see mid journey has produced four prospective prompts that describe the image. You have the option to test each one separately, by selecting the corresponding prompt number, or you can experiment with all of them simultaneously by clicking on Imagine All. You will have multiple options to select from, choose your preferred option, and with just a few clicks, you will effortlessly generate similar designs like Magic, which look even better than the competitor in my view. Now let me show you an alternative approach for creating designs. This method involves crafting your own prompt, using the listing keywords and images. Let's recreate this design as an example, so looking at the images we can observe various elements like wildflowers, botanicals old documents, and more. If you look at the title, you can see the specific style name, which is perfect for writing the prompt. After amalgamating the all information, I am able to write the prompt you see on the screen. I've basically included the design elements, along with a style name, and that simple prompt has resulted in the creation of this beautiful looking design. It appears very clean and similar to the original design, and all done using Midjourney AI in a couple of minutes. I strongly suggest trying out this product, as I am convinced it has great potential. So go to Etsy and create a shop to upload printable junk journals. I use a free online tool called Tailwind Communities for Pinterest promotion. It's a place where people with similar interests share each other's pins. For every pin you share, you can upload one of your own, and others can share it if they like it. This helps get your images in front of a new audience, particularly on Pinterest, where people are often in a shopping mindset. As an Etsy seller, this can boost your shop's visibility and sales. There are lots of groups for junk journals and vintage clip art lovers, whether you're a crafter or an Etsy seller. Join these private pin sharing groups to increase your exposure. So, selling printable junk journals on Etsy can be a fantastic side hustle to generate passive income. Many sellers are making substantial monthly earnings, and it doesn't require prior skills, just the right mindset and consistency. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps you embark on a successful journey into the world of selling printable junk journals on Etsy. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. Good luck with your Etsy venture.